Hey else, guys and welcome back to a brand new video guys and today is something a little bit different guys because we're not doing a collection video today. Today I thought it would be something a little bit different because I've been doing collection videos now for about two weeks now and I thought you know what I'll change the content up a bit and today guys I've been doing a, I guess kind of a vlog style thing but not really. Basically I'm going to be looking at what I've done in lockdown. So in the UK we've been in lockdown now since March I think, about mid-March. So I thought you know what I'd do, I'd make a video about what I've done because we've been stuck inside for months and months on end and what do I have to show for it? Well, I'm about to show you guys. So here they are. The first one here was some politics exam questions I had to do. So I've got that one there, which was, I think that's a nine mark question. That's a nine mark question. Uh, so it's about like a Brexit and referendums and all that kind of good stuff. Then we've got the question here, another nine mark question about UK pressure groups. And then we've got another one here about devolution. That was all fun. I had to do all that. Uh, another one here, I think this is a geography one instead. This is about national identity. So that's about like culture, traditions, and language and stuff like that. That's quite interesting to do actually. Probably the most interesting piece I've had to do of uh, homework. Yeah, so I think it's a pretty mock exam question. That was pretty fun to do. Another one here was about nationalist movements. I think it's also for geography. I think I had most geography work to do as well. This one, this one was not as fun. I, had to, I think I spent the entire day doing this. I guess to do about Catalonia, the entire timeline of Catalonia. So that, that's a long, that's a long timeline from the 1930s. Uh, what else we got here? We got Scotland, Scotland independence. Uh, brick nations and that kind of stuff. So, very long amount of homework I got to do. Got a coronavirus case study I had to do as well. Um, that was probably, that one was actually quite interesting because I learned more about the virus itself. So that was interesting to learn more about the, the background of it. And I think that's all the homework I had to do. I didn't have to do a lot because we were, basically had exams coming up in you know June, so we haven't really had much to do. Now moving away from the sort of work and the proper serious side of uh, lockdown, I've been doing a couple of Disney quizzes I've created myself. I basically researched all these things here, and that's making me own quiz for my family. So we've got like Pixar movies here, uh, we've got Toy Story 3, Monster University, uh, we've got Disney Renaissance period films here, uh, we've got, I uh, think this is Disney Revival, yeah, so this is like questions about like um, Rough Breaks the Internet, Big Hero 6, Tangled. Uh, what's next? Next is about Disney music, so you've got like, um, people like Randy Newman, like, what, does he, what did he write for, uh, which Disney, Disney movie is this song from, so that's all good stuff. Uh, this one here, oh, this one's about the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida, so we'll see how much we can remember from our trips. I thought this was pretty cool, got a couple more sections down here, like Star Wars and Marvel, but that I think was really fun. I did a second one as well, of course, and with the same section, so I'm just going to quickly fly through this. If you want to pause at any point to read the questions, you can. Obviously you've got like a Marvel, uh, you've got quick fire rounds there, that there is uh, live action movies, um, like Pirates of the Caribbean kind of thing, Star Wars, I'm not going to go over all of them guys because it's pretty, pretty boring so we'll move on now to something else I did. Continuing with the Disney theme guys, so we obviously got uh, Disney Plus during lockdown to watch a lot of movies, what I've done is I've created a spreadsheet here of all the different types of Disney movies available and I've basically decided if I've watched them or not. So. Got films here like Frozen, Planes, these sort of animated movies. Got um, Cinderella, stuff like that. And then if we go over here, this is a live action section. I haven't watched many of the early live action Disney movies. Uh, many stuff like Paris the Caribbean I've seen, that was quick. Many seen like Paris the Caribbean, the remakes like Aladdin, Cinderella, that kind of stuff. Over here we have. Um, it's a beer, if I can find that. But there we go, this is Pixar Animation, a beer, so we've watched almost all of these, apart from The Good Dinosaur, I think, is anyone ever watched. Uh, and then last section is the Disney Channel original movies, so you've got stuff like um, High School Musical, Phineas and Ferb, um, Descendant series, and like a Teen Beach movie, so that's all the things I've watched on there. And finally, for the last thing I want to show you guys on my computer, basically what I did is I spent about a couple of days or so making a kind of an interactive spreadsheet game, so basically this is like a zoom, so I've created like a zoom map, if I zoom out uh, to about 2, no I don't want to do, I want to go up to 50%, that's not going to do it justice, so I've got to sort of zoom out here now, if I can just properly zoom out. So what I wanted to guys, I created a, my own virtual zoo, so this is a zoom map. What I did is you go around each different area and you can click on the animals. So for example if I go to this one here, which if I load up here, that is, oh god you can't read that, that's a bald eagle I think. Um, I think I might just zoom in on my own camera in there. I think that is, yeah it's a bald eagle. If you can read that there, hopefully you can read that. What well, is I created fact files about each different animal and made like a zoo treasure hunt out of spreadsheets, which I think is is really really cool. So yeah, guys, that's all the things I've done on my computer. I've got a few games to show you now what I've done. So games like FIFA, stuff like that. 
This is where I probably spent most of my time, guys, is playing FIFA. So I've got a couple of career modes I want to show you guys now. This first one here is my current Liverpool career mode. That's the pretty sick team. Uh, Phil Foden is not the main uh, starter. I should go down here. And we've got Deli Alley, who's meant to be in his midfield place. Yeah, this is my career mode. I think we're in 2023. Uh, I've got players like Neres, uh, Mbappe, Sancho. We've still got Salah, Laporte. We've got a couple of youth players like uh, Stoppelkamp, I think that's the name. Stoppelkamp, yeah, Stoppelkamp. And I'll see still Liverpool for current Liverpool players like Henderson, Woodburn, Ariki, Chamberlain. Yeah, that's my oops, that's my Liverpool uh, career mode. I've got a few more to show you. Also, just to point out, guys, I have um, got some stats here. So I've won four league titles. Seven domestic cups and four Champions Leagues, which is which is pretty good. This is a much more recent one, guys. I've done with uh, Scunthorpe United. Nowhere near as good as team because you know we're still we had to start off in League Two. There's some couple of good players in there like uh, Shaw, is a, a, a youth team player, I think. Also got uh, Garner from United, Woodburn from Liverpool, Ryan Kent, that like James Tav Tavernier and Ben Brayton. We've got a couple of good names in here, like Garcia from Man City, guard side and, and goalkeeper. A couple of decent players as well on. Uh, bench as well. So this one probably my least successful career mode. I think I've only um, I'm only in the Europa League at the moment. I've been doing this for a few seasons now. I have a look at my career. So I've been doing this uh, for for a couple of years now. I think uh, what was my most recent season? Uh, 23, 24. So around about the same time as Liverpool career mode. What we've done is we uh, we've had two league titles and one domestic cup, which I think is pretty pretty good. And I've got them into the Europa League, which is very, very nice. So for the final career mode bit, guys, I've got a Barcelona career mode here, so I thought, you know, I'd take them over, try and rebuild them, you know, turn, turn them back to their former glory. We've got a pretty good squad here. It's currently in transition, so we've got, like, youth players, or uh, youth stars, should I say. Players like Dembele, uh, De Jong, Tonali, Sancho, Torres, Alexander Arnold, and I guess Cucurella is in 25. We've got the more experienced players, like, you know, Van Dijk, you know, Messi, Griezmann, Ter Stegen. Pretty good bench as well. Obviously, got to sign the legend that is uh, Troy Parrott, of course. Uh, Rodriguez, Furpo, uh, Donnarumma's there as well. So, this one's probably been, I'd say, as successful as my Liverpool one. We picked up uh, four league titles. I'm shaking again. Four league titles, two domestic cups, and four continental cups. So, again, pretty solid overall. That's that's my Cream guys. I'm sure you now something I started playing uh, just for this uh, lockdown. And it is, if I go over here, Volta. I started playing the Volta story mode. I'll show you. How far I've gotten, I think I've completed the story, I do believe. So if I go on here, guys, you can see that the story has been completed. I don't think I can go on anymore. So if I go on like Volta League, I think, can I do this? Uh, I haven't really got much further past this. I'm sorry if you guys can't read the writing, it's not not that good. Uh, okay, I want to see my team, that's all I want to see. Can I see my team or not? No, uh, no, I can't. I've got to watch this cutscene. There you go, I skipped the cutscene now, finally I'll see my team. This is my team at the moment, uh, where am I? I'm currently the 75 rated strike at the moment, that's me. Got a couple of guys in from the um, this main story mode, so you've got like Peter Jepsen, uh, this guy here got Big T, and then you've got uh, Bobby Filet and uh, Sid, Sid in goal, and then a couple of other guys here. I think everyone else here is a like a, like a custom player, if you will. This is the only person I started off with uh, since the very beginning. You see, he's only not very good, he's only 67 rated. But yeah, it's a pretty solid team, guys. I'm probably played a bit more Volta, but it's actually been a really good story mode. Yeah, so that's all my uh, FIFA stuff, guys. I'm doing a lot. I've also got another career mode ongoing, which I've just started, so no point showing you guys. But it's a Stoke City career mode. Well, it's a play career mode, also like Liverpool. Got loaned out to Stoke City, so that's that's in the works at the moment. And that's it, guys, for most things. I've got one last thing to show you guys, and that's going to be it for today's video. And finally, guys, I thought I'd show you some Lego that I've basically been rebuilding. So these two have been rebuilt, this one is an entirely new set I got my birthday, so this, start with this one here. It's a Mandalorian battle pack and features some pretty cool uh, Mandalorian characters. This one's blue, got a green one over here, got an orange one and a grey one. If I turn it around you can see the green one. So that's pretty cool, got that and I've got the speeder here with it. Again that's pretty pretty nice. Again this is a new set, but what I did is I got my all my Lego boxes out and built some sets. So the first one we got here is a Buzz and Lightyear here, so it's like a, Kind of in the style of the old Star Wars ones, you can get the sort of like big builds of minifigures. This was like one, and then we've got this one here, which is an RC. So obviously the character in RC uh, from the first Toy Story movie, where Buzz and Woody are trying to get onto Andy's moving van, and that's the set from that sort of clip of the movie. And that, oops. 
So guys, that is it for the video. I hope you did enjoy. I may make another one of these guys towards the end of lockdown or in sort of like September time. If I do do anything else that's not worthy enough to put in the video, because the video's got to be at least like eight minutes long to be a decent video. So if I don't find anything else to put in the video, I will make another one. I'll just leave it. Probably put it on Instagram or Twitter somewhere. Speaking of which, guys, don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Links will all be in the description below. And if you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button. And way down there, don't forget to subscribe. And also turn the notification bell on because that means you're updated every time I make a brand new video. And next week, guys, could be my video about my 18th birthday, which I'm quite interested to make. I think it'll be quite a different video. But, guys, I hope you do stick around for that video. And uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.